A tennis court is a tennis court, a rugby pitch a rugby pitch, but for some sports the design of the course makes all the difference. Golf, motor racing and of course shooting are all affected by the layout, the setup and the makeup of the ground. For the first time, 19 times world champion George is designing a competitive shoot, the Fitask British Grand Prix. So what is he bringing to the party? I want everybody to be able to walk onto every stand and think I can hit that target, and yet the subtle changes in speed, angle, um, line of the target takes targets off people. Um, so basically, they, you know, when they go on to a stand, they think they can hit everything, and yet they might miss one or two. George works closely with Primatics' Jamie Peckham. George describes him as being like his golf caddy, working with him to get the best out of each stand. There's a lot of tinkering going on, especially with a virgin ground. Can you just move that out a touch? You have to go out a touch so it goes through that gap rather than into the oak tree. Is there any way we could tilt that? Which way do you want to go? that way. Yeah. The targets wherever you go are going to be similar, incomers going away, but with, with, it's the different settings and what I like and especially here, each stand you go to is a different setting. So we're shooting over a cover crop here and the trees and then it's over there and it's, it's a bit of a different aspect. But, and then you had the platform pegged down through there, then the, the George has done the, the rabbit stand so it's all rabbit targets. So yeah, that's, uh, and it's, they've been very friendly here and looked after me which is nice. You're an old pro when it comes to this sort of thing, but you've got a novice here you're working with, unfortunately, Mr Digweed. I mean, how's he, how's he shaped up? No, he's been very good, actually. He knows, he's shot enough targets, he knows what he wants, so it's been, it's been pretty easy going. Long as he just tells you what to do and just get on with it. To give you an idea of what George is trying to achieve, he takes us through the subtleties of a target. The target A is coming out from below your feet, going straight away across the field. Now, what we've done on here is we've put a bit of tilt on the trap, so the shooter will look at this target as a straight going away bird, but when they actually come to shoot the target, it's actually just tailing to the right a little bit. And we're hoping to, you know, just catch an odd shooter or two out on the fact that they're going to shoot up the side of it. So it comes out straight at the tree and then drifts to the right. Now George is not only designing this competition, but competing here too. Some might find this odd, but George is not into foul play and hasn't fired a single shot here. I really don't think there's, uh, you know, there's a home advantage as such because a target is a target. I might be able to work out slightly what's, you know, the subtleties of what it's doing, but then I could probably overread that and, and miss them because of that. So I'm sure all will become apparent at the end of the weekend, but uh, I certainly wouldn't class a home advantage. And, you know, with the standard of shooting in Britain now, um, it's an open, open event for 50 people, I would think. Hickenham Farm does have a game shoot, but it's the first time a clay competition will be hosted here, with the help from Game Bore, CCI Clays and Primatic. So why would you put yourself through it, especially when the ground is so wet? It was last year at uh, the World uh, in Orville, uh, the World Fitas in Orville. We were all in uh, the restaurant and uh, uh, with uh, Hugh Smith, who is here, and uh, George. Uh, and I said, well, why don't we uh, raise the profile of uh, Fitas in the UK? And uh, well, why don't we uh, organise uh, uh, something at, uh, the, at uh, Ickenham Farm? Uh, and with uh, the designer George Digweed and uh, we all sp uh, spoke together and they said okay well let's do it. Are you regressing that now? Yes. <laughs> now it's uh, we're going to deliver a fantastic uh, venue. Uh, the location is fantastic. Uh, nobody has shot the targets. It's on virgin ground. Uh, it's a one-off and it's going to be superb. Of course, George can't just turn up, stick out a few traps and open the doors. It all has to be checked and verified. Hugh Smith is the chief referee and with notepad at the ready, he's making sure everything is in order. But how much sway does he actually have? Well, probably a little bit of horse trading will go on. So we come to a, a, an agreement because what I don't want to do is pull out of the, the artist and throw his picture away. This is what he wants. Now I look at it from a different perspective, so I'm going to be looking at it to see that it's shootable, that the, like I've said previously, the targets are visible, but uh, the good targets and safe targets is, is one of the top priorities is as well. Is this game ball? Is it? Yes. Game ball too, Hugh yeah. describes Fitask as the Formula One of shooting sports. Let's find out if that's true and ask the boss. Ah, it's, uh, it's a technique problem. Because when you are a, a, a sporting shooter, a FITASK sporting shooters, 
you must, you must know all the technique. You can't stay without any hole in your technique. Uh, when you shoot a fixed trajectory, like for ski, Olympic trap, double trap, it's a, of course you need to have a talent, but it's a mechanical shoot. With our uh, uh, shoot, uh, with our discipline, you must be, use always your intelligence bef before shooting for every target. You need to understand this target, the speed, the, the distance of the target, the, the way he go. And, uh, and, and this is why we need to have a very, very uh, carefully people with a, with a lot of attention uh, to the to the target and uh, the champion for the, this game is, of course is George. There is a desire to promote fitas here as Jean-Francois says it's a discipline that really pushes the competitors and whether it's the novelty value of participating in a digweed designed shoot or the attraction of fitas a 260 plus field must show there's a thirst for competitive shooting in this country.